just got back from a long camping trip over Memorial Day weekend. Whoo! Whoo, Gina! Look at Gina running around. Love to see you again, Gina. Uh, we got rained out early, but we're back. Let's get to it. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but my wife yelled at me. She's supposed to be unloading the camper. So this camper has a little bit of leak on the top. Here, let me get under this overhang and talk so I don't get soaking wet. Got a little bit of leak. Tried to put some sealant on there, but I don't know if I fixed it. Uh, camper is good. It's old camper, but uh, it worked really good. Heater. Had to hit it with a hammer a few times. Wouldn't recommend that because them camper heaters, you know, you hit them just wrong, just right. It might at night make that whole camper a balloon. Don't believe me. My uncle did it. Blew his butt right out the door. He was actually trying to start his uh, heater. And then it kind of didn't know that it was uh, leaking gas. Created that whole camper, all the walls and everything, just blew it up like a big balloon. Luckily, he was right by the doorway, so he just got small burns to his face, and that's about it. But he just, he said he was like a missile, like a little bottle rocket, right out of that door. Landed about 20 feet back. Right, back this thing up. Man, that ramp is so steep getting into this garage. And this little shed here. Park it over here by the Ford. There we go. Right there. There we go. Unhook this here. Whew. Make sure my protein tanks are turned off. Don't want no trouble with them. Man, I just love that old camper. So many memories. So much fun. Alright, now I gotta get my burgers. Go over here, get them to start burning up here. All right, now I got that done. Now I gotta fire up the old grill. Start making, burning me some patties. It just hasn't stopped raining. Man, I am glad we ended up packing up the camper and got out of there because, oh man, I think we would have got stuck getting out of our campgrounds. This is crazy. I'm just trying to cook some burgers over here, and whew, just raining. It's like sideways rain, too. It just comes at you. I'm over an overhang, and it's still getting me. Huh. It's like bucks coming down the road. Oh, he's pulling in. Long time. I have not seen buck for a while. Man, his Ford. That's a good-looking Ford right there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? What's up, Buck? Long time no see. Yeah, I have. What the heck's up with the real estate here, bud? Last time I checked, you didn't have this nice of a place. Oh, yeah, the wife forced me to upgrade. You know, Grant upgraded his house, and then the wife yeah, kind of... I, I went out there about two weeks ago. I haven't talked to you guys in probably, well, especially you, in probably close to a couple months. Wow, really? Wow. Yeah, it's been, unless I saw you down, like, at the bar or something in town. Oh. What, how... I don't, where have you been? Uh, I've just been chugging along. I actually had to give up the cattle operation because of the fact that it just wasn't, I wasn't breaking even. Oh, so really? I haven't, I haven't had the milk cows in probably close to three, four years now. But uh, we are just, I'm still running alfalfa bales and everything else. I actually just got done planting. I went over to, uh, you know, uh, Jeremy over here, that yep. old barn house. Yeah, well, my neighbor, well, my buddy, Tim, he sold the, that sprayer to them, and I went over and bought it for about 300 bucks. Uh, I'm just going to lay down some, uh, not really, uh, I'm kind of like Roundup, just so I can make sure that I want to get that, because I've seen there's some weeds that are growing up on the hillside. Uh, some, I don't want that affecting anything, plus some crab grasses growing up in there. I, I want to get the best crop I can, just so I can at least recover from the cattle operation. But other than that, I mean, it's just been kind of nonchalant. I mean, I got a new truck. 
I see yeah. you got a new one too, didn't you? Yeah, let's, let's stand over this uh, overhang here so we're not in yeah, the Yeah, I say, I'm getting soaked here. What, what's with your Corvette sitting out, dude? Is it sitting out? Oh, yeah, man, I forgot. Right. Get, dude, get, get oh, inside. Oh, man. <laughs> At least you got a little bit of it. At least the rain's coming oh, down. Oh, get side. the towels. Get the towels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the rags. Where are they at? Damn it. Oh, they're in the cabin. Okay. Bring that sucker in here. Oh, it's going to rust. Oh, oh I just got fine. this thing. You oh, man. Are... Get the def <laughs> dehumidifier out. We're going to have to blow this thing down. <laughs> At least you have a leather interior and it's not cloth. Oh yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be up. I'm gonna be up all night doing that. Uh, so you're gonna have fun detailing <laughs> that one, bud. Uh, well, at least it didn't get waterlogged. Mm -hmm. I was actually about ready to go look at my uh, fields, oh, see what we have. Say, um, wait, you haven't seen it yet? No. What's oh, up? Oh man. I just got back from a camping trip. I just pulled in. Like maybe a few oh, hours ago. Lord. Um, yeah, your entire like road is underwater by what? probably close to a foot, what? maybe even a foot and a half. Which road? Yeah, County Road C, going east, uh, going north south. Why isn't it's it draining? Completely under. You look at this big. I mean, I I live right by a r ravine. I mean, look at that thing. I that know. kind of canal. I, do you okay, you know the uh, the lake that sits up north of. Uh, uh, What's the name of that lake? Uh, uh, I can't remember. The, you know the big lake up north, though. Yeah, yeah, we were just that, camping by that, it, close to it. I think some. I think the floodage problem up there. They might have had that one river, that, the creek that leads out. I think they said that when the flash flood hit, it started running downhill. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Something broke. Like you're a Whoa. foot and a half underwater on County Road C. What? That's supposed to be draining. You got that? Yeah, I know. Well, let's go check. Let's it go out. check down there. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Holy cow! What the heck is plugged right here? I don't know. It's something up river. Oh you goodness! You are completely under. Look at look at my poor deers out there in the field. I was worried more about your GMC because it half of its hood sitting in the water. <gasps> oh, I just saw. Holy cow! That thing. You say you're, you're gonna get yourself some flood damage here on that truck if you don't get it out of there. Oh goodness! Oh man, what the heck? This this I have never seen even close to this flooding before. I I haven't either. I just kind of like, uh, what the heck happened here? Oh I mean, that's man, that's at least a solid foot and a half, two foot deep, maybe even three. Not oh. three, but it's at least two foot. We gotta get this stuff. We can't even start this stuff up. I I gotta get my waders on. I mean, shoot, I can't even get there without getting my uh. <laughs> Whitey I mean, tidies, nice and wet. You wear whitey well, tidies? Pretty much. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Breeze boxers on too. You got some? And, uh, oh, no. you're a boxer guy. I'm a whitey tidy. No, I like to keep it all tucked <laughs> I mix up. I the two. <laughs> oh yeah, but I, I, right. I can't get that stuff. Once you're, uh, you know, they get cold. You're cold oh, for yeah. the rest of the day. Oh yeah. Uh, I think you could probably get some of this stuff out, but like, I mean, you have to jump in on the GMC from this side. I don't know how on earth you might have to go around the section to get over to the, the is that an international or is that a Pete? I can't remember. I have no oh, idea what your stuff is. Yeah, that's an international eagle over there. So oh, okay, well, the combine's gonna be your least favorite friend. I'm gonna have to figure out what's broken or what's clogged. Yeah, I so mean, this you stuff might have to head about a mile and a half northeast. Yeah, something because oh, it should be going all to the river. I mean, we're pretty it high. Be. Yeah. What the heck? Some some sort of... Could it have been the beavers? Them beavers. I bet it was. I saw some beavers over there making a dam. Oh, they they probably clogged up that uh, my little drainage. Probably. Down. Oh, And then the rain beavers. didn't help. Because, I mean, it's been raining all day. And you're saying that you can't get your tidy whities wet, yet we're standing in a downpour. Well, I know, Explain but... Explain that one to me. That, that this has been a this has been a weird week, dude. I finally got my uh, my old tape recorder. It crudded out, and that's why I haven't been able to put anything up for the past couple day like for the past couple weeks. But I finally oh. got my new camera recorder, and man, it is nuts. It's like first of all, it's like trying to hold a hay bale in your hand, but it's also <laughs> like it, I mean, it, I've gotten floods, I've gotten broken down equipment running out of fuel. I mean, this has been one action packed week. Oh uh, no, and it's man! It's only Thursday. Man. 
we probably should just start up a repair shop or something. Probably make some good money then. Man, this is not going to be fun. I caramba. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what else is up. I, I just, I thought you knew about this because of the fact that I thought you were in town. I didn't know you went out camping. Well, yeah, I didn't even know. No one even called, and now it's just, and it looked like well, it just came up really quick, too, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, was, I mean, it's only been raining for like a day and a half or something, so you, you had to have had something break or leak. Because there wouldn't yeah. be this much water without something having to happen like that. Yeah, it's. I'm going to probably have to fix wherever them beavers dammed up. I'm going to have to mm -hmm. kill them, trap them, or, and then blow up their dam because... All right, well, gonna I'll destroy all right, more crops. Boone, I'll catch all right. you later. All right, <laughs> later. You have a good one. I hope, uh, good luck with getting that on, Don. I mean, I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, this is not going to be pretty. Yep. Hey, one last thing. Uh, you still got that radio uh, yep. rolling high? Uh, what did you at least get that part of the field harvested? No, it's it's. I just got. I just started before we went to Memorial Day camping, and uh, oh, I was geez. gonna try to see if it would run. Nope, it was too wet, and it's obviously too wet still. Yeah, I think I I know where these beavers dammed up. I'm gonna go tear this part up. So that, thanks for the help, Buck. Oh, no problem. I'll catch you later on the flip side, bud. All right, later, Buck. Hey, yep. Oh, well, we found our dam. Them stinking beavers made a dam right in the middle of our freaking drainage. So all this should be draining out, but uh, they made a little habitat here. These stinking beavers. Oh man, look, we got cattails, we got everything. The good thing is, is it didn't flood the house, but it should be, basically this is a drainage. So this drains my farm, Jeremy's farm, all the way up there to big old Roy in the double silos, if you can see, way on the other side. All these fields drain down into the river through this little uh, waterway or grassway. All it usually has is water running through it when it's wet like it is right now, raining cats and dogs. I'm going to at least try to get this to drain a little bit. I'm gonna, we're going to see what we can do. So we can't get too far down in there because I'm afraid we kind of just get sucked in. or You know, we're on the top, this kind of gravelly ground here, so hopefully won't be too bad but I'm just gonna try to move these there we go got it that time uh-oh uh I think I got too far in oh 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 come on come on trash it yeah I almost went all the way in there whoo whoo tinkled a little bit right there oops Push it, push it. There we go. Gotta break that up. Ah, oh, man, I'm not gonna go near as far as I did last time. All right. So I think let's see. It does look like we're we're flowing now. We are flowing. So I broke that up just enough so it starts draining a little bit. I don't want that water to get any higher. That's for sure. I'm going to take. Oh, Alex Charmos. I'm going to go park that disc quick. I'm going to use that to pull out some of this equipment, pull out that harvester. I don't really want to, to basically start it. I'm not for sure, but you guys know old Jake, Mr. Pickle himself, looks like he lost a fertilizer container. Yeah, a little herbicide he left. I don't know if he lost it off the trailer, doesn't know about it. He plans on giving it to me as a present. It's kind of odd to have that type of present. It was just my birthday, but I don't, I usually don't get herbicide for my birthday. At least, I mean, farmers, 
we're a different breed, so may maybe, maybe. Oh my goodness. Take one little vacation, and this is what I come back to. I mean, look at that rain. You can just see it down the rows there. It's going to lay all that wheat down. We're going to have a hard time getting it dry enough or even picking it up with the head. Oh, man. Just so close to harvest. So close. I had such a good uh, stand of beans there. Ugh. So annoying. So annoying. So I think I'm going to just start. Uh, I really don't know how to do this, but I think, honestly, I'm going to try to pull out that GMC. It just looks like I could hook up to the back of it, yank that thing out. I'm going to start up the 81 there, try to get it on some dry land at least. Probably need to bring all this stuff and just put it back in the into the shop so I can look at it, make sure I don't have no serious water damage. All right. Got it hitched up. Whew. Man, I just looked in that uh, grain box. It is like full of water. It's like a little watering hole up in there. Oh, man. Oh. Let's see if I can pull this thing out with this big. I think we're good. I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not a lot. Uh, bouncing that front end. I can't let it, because if you go right... Can't get any farther down in that ditch. Gotta get, get towards the road. Come on. Don't let that thing fall down in that ditch. That'd be a bad deal. Man. Oh, come on. Uh, all right. Oh, my tires are about going like mad. Come on. Come on, old Alice. You can do it, Alice. Whew. I think we're about free. Yeah. Whew. I'm going to have to make sure. Dry out this air cleaner. Dry out everything. Start this engine up. Keep it running. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to do when you got an engine waterlogged. But I know you at least need to clean out the air cleaner. I really need to dump this uh, bed just so it's not filling up with water still. I, I, I gotta get across here somehow. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk it. Oh man. I don't have waders high enough for this. It's gonna. Oh man. Woo! It's so chilly once it hits the nuts. Oh! Rainwater's chilly. All right. Well, the good thing is I'm pretty sure the old Alice can make it through. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done, but it, it's going to happen. Ooh, come on. Oh, man. Go really slow so that water doesn't wash up into the engine. Got to get that harvester out. Oh, it just makes me sick looking at that thing. Oh, man. I'm going to have to jump in this international with my wet britches. Okay. All right. International safe now. Oh, man. Oh. It's so cold once it hits the nuts. Uh, cold, cold. Got it. Oh, man. This wheat's so underwater. All right. Well, there's a best... What's the best way to get towards this harvester? The good thing is I'm pretty sure I can start this up because all the engine components, everything is above the water line. So I'm going to start it up because I at least have to raise the header before I maybe try to just drive it out of here. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh, man. Don't get stuck. You can do it. Probably one of the ruin the thresher I would just harvest this while we're going out it's way too wet to be running through a harvester 
Alright, I'm gonna have to jump this ditch right here because our roadway is underwater. A little path to our field, that is, on the road. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. So close, so that head's so close. Oh, lift up. Come on, get out of there. Woo! Made it. Made it. Now we're on the other side. I'm gonna have to go completely around to the farmyard. Ooh. Driving the old 81 back, so I got everything back to the farm, at least close, so I could start looking at it all. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the 90s era. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Ever seen a dog that's a tree climber? I swear she thinks she's a cat. Gina, come on, stop playing around.